Alright guys, so I know at the beginning of the week, I talked about reasoning, deductive, inductive. I know we worked a lot of deductive then, so over here I have a review of inductive. Remember, I, I came and I, I know for inductive, I give you guys an example that Monday was not going to rain. We looked for patterns. So, this is really inductive. I notice I have a list of numbers, and I'm asking you guys, write the next three numbers in each pattern. So, 24, 31, 38, 45. What's the next number? 52. And then? 59. And then? 66. All right. Let me help you guys with a really, really hard one. This one down here. If you want to do three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Nice. That was really hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any of those patterns you guys need help with? Yeah. No. No? All right. We have some with numbers and then some with pictures. I know on um, Monday that I, I gave you guys a figure that had two arrows on each, right? There was a big arrow. Inside there was a smaller arrow. So all those figures. Any questions on the figures? Oh. Yeah, right. that's one of them. One of them? Yeah. I, I see triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. And I'll, I'll look at your papers. You guys sometimes make fun of my circles. They look like eggs. I have your pa I'll have your papers in front of me. I'll have a chance to make fun of them too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so try to draw circles. They're actually not that easy to do. I can draw circles. Oh, for the stars on this one? Yeah. All right, so yeah, you're talking about, I don't think we have any stars on that one. Yeah, on the second one. So this one right here? No, the second one. The second one, yeah, because it's like a triangle, triangle, and then star and then. On the fourth one? On the fourth one? Okay, oh. triangle, triangle, star, triangle, triangle, and star. And also the second one, you know what else? Mm -hmm. You want to do triangle, triangle, and then star? So triangle, triangle, but then I don't have any more. Well, yeah, here on the other one with the stars, yeah, you do two triangles, and yeah, I guess you guys can go with these stars like that. Is that what you guys meant? Okay. And on the back, so on the front. On the what? Go down. All right, so now looking at the back. Now looking at the back, first part, first six questions, go for it. But I'm using alternating period and alternating period. I gave you guys the four rules, but I'm only looking at two so far. The two that we covered yesterday. So I know this question number one. They're alternate exterior. So make sure you start just learning your names because next week, once I introduce you to the other two rules, there'll be some that I'll ask you guys identify which one of the four rules is. It. Okay, we only know two right now, but you guys will know four. Alright, so that's an alternate exterior, and I know they're equal to each other. So I'm just going to come and say 9x minus 1 is equal to 8x plus 8. Alright, let them equal each other. And I know I separate into the equal sign, and I told you guys yesterday, letters on one side, numbers on the other. So I have 9x minus 8x equals 1 plus 8. Keep in mind that whatever I move from one side to the other, I switch the sign. And when I simplify this, what's the value of x? x equal 9. So they equal each other, and then the answer is all correct. Any questions on the first two? Yes. So on the left side, we don't, we don't um, subtract 9, 8, we just do on the right. Well, we came to this, because 9 minus 8 is 1x. Oh, so that's how we got just that x by itself. Oh, okay. Any other questions for the first thing? Yes, this is number two. Number two? Yeah. All right, let me start by setting it up as 9x plus 5 is equal to 50. 
Right? Because it's alternating here and now in the flow. Let me separate the sign. My positive 5, I'm going to move it as a negative 5 to the other side. Right? That's the only thing that I move. So I'm just going to call this 9x equals 45. So x is equal to 5. Right, don't forget that whatever we move from one side to the other, we switch the side. But any other questions for the first case? Yes. Not yet. Not on the first case. Not yet. Any other questions on the first case? All right. Let's take a look at question 7 through 12. Now here, the questions are find the method of the angle indicated in bold which I see 23x minus 3 darker. So first, let me solve for x. I'm just going to go 23x minus 3 equals 21x plus 9. Separate my side to the equal side. 23x minus 21x equals 3 plus 9. All right, don't forget that whatever moves from one side to the other, I switch the side. This one needs a little bit more simplification. The text one is one step after this, but you guys can finish it. What's x? X equals six. Not no. X equals six. Because right, we get that 2x equals 12, so x equals six. Now that we know the value of x, plug it in there. So let's start little by little. How much is 23 times six? One thirty-eight, yes. So twenty-three times one thirty-eight. One thirty-eight minus three. One thirty-five. That's an alternate exterior. I remember the first six on the on the back side. The first six just solve for x. Right, that's what solve for x. Question seven through twelve. Solve for x and then plug it back in. And I'm asking for the angle. So this one's a quiz, question number seven, and I get x equals six, then it's incorrect. So I'm looking for the angle. Right. Any questions? Uh, number eight. Number eight? Yeah. I noted that those two are alternate interior. So I'm just going to come and say 10x is equal to 9 plus 9x. When you guys work this out, what do you guys get for x? x equals what? x equals 9. Nice. Now plug it into your 10x. How much is 10 times x? 9. And then use your logic to go with check your work. Now it does look like a 90 degree, so it makes sense. That way we don't get confused. Alright, looking at number nine, those are alternate exterior. So let's say equal each other. I'm gonna say 17x minus 6 is equal to 16x plus 2. Mm -hmm. I want the x's on the left side, so I'm gonna go 17x minus 16x. On the right side, I'm gonna have positive 6 plus 2. And I, uh, as a, again, as a reminder, whatever moves from one side to the other, I switch the side. So if, uh, if you're moving, if you're moving the, uh, if you're moving. I move the negative six to positive six, and I also move the sixteen x to negative sixteen x. Can I take the minus sign and change it to negative? Well, minus sixteen x. Well, see how this minus six. Or negative six. Once I move it, it's positive six. Right, don't forget to switch the sign on those. So on the left side, how much is seventeen x minus sixteen x? How much is seventeen minus sixteen? Okay. So one x. How much is six plus two? Eight. 
So we know the value of S. Plug it in. So I'm going to see the dark thing is 17 S minus 6. So how much is 17 times 8? 136. 136 minus 6? 130. Then I look at my angle. I know 90 is an L shape. That's obviously more than 90. So 130 makes sense. Alright, any other questions? Yes. If you got S plus 8, how did you get this 30? Because I, I plugged it in the angle. 17 times X, I know 17 times 8 is 136 minus 6. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright. Any other questions? Yes. On this 11, the next. So you have, let's see, 13x minus 5, 11, well, 11x plus 5, I, I rearrange them, but it's the same thing, right? 11x plus 5? So over here I'm going to have, yeah, 13x minus 11x, 5 plus 5. So yeah, 2x equals 10, x equals 5. And then solve for it. Um, then plug it in. 11 times x plus 5. Any other questions? The trick for tomorrow will basically have the front, you know, with numbers, patterns with numbers, patterns with pictures. Just that the pictures I can go like on Monday, two triangle, I mean two arrows. I'm not gonna make them that that simple. And then obviously the back side as well.